Hey guys, I'm back. I know it's been a while for me to do some reviews. I've gotten kind of busy, but today what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you uh, my favorites. Um, I do have a lot of ones that I have to do right back here, so you need to make sure you stay tuned. But let's go with literally, I have one, two, three, four, five, six of my favorites. And all of them are, are like crazy, like kind of different kind of flavors. Um, I'm also going to read you some of the, what they actually say. So I don't know where I got this one. It's called Legendary. Can you see it? What it actually is, is called Hypermint. Um, it is a creamy peppermint milkshake. Um, Ice cream, creamy peppermint ice cream from Legend Dairy. I'll actually put it in the notes for you. I have no clue where this came from. It all of a sudden just ended up beside my bed. Um, those are where I keep my special ones. So she's almost gone. So I'm going to have to definitely get another one. It is a peppermint ice cream that's, it's not too creamy. It's not too minty, but it's literally perfect right in the middle. So it sits by my bed. So you know that that's a special one. Um, another one, man, guys, listen, if you haven't tried snail trail, I'm really good with this. If you haven't tried snail tra trail, you're totally missing out. I'm going to look it up real quick and I'm going to tell you what exactly, um, it says, um, I need to put e-juice because if you literally look up snail trail, the things that you get, <laughs> just don't go to, um, just don't go to images. <laughs> okay. So snail trail is by trademark. I am 18 or older. All right. So snail trail, they have three different ones, but this is literally my favorite. So what it says is it's an Earl Grey t uh, tea with a twist of lime and spearmint. I don't get the lime in it, um, but let me tell you, like I have a lot of anxiety. So whenever I vape this, it's really, really calming with that Earl tea, uh, Earl Grey tea. And the spearmint is real slight, but literally anybody that has tried this has been amazed about how different it is. It's not like your Fruit Loops and it's not like your chocolate milk or your raspberry pop tart it's above all else i this is like my i think fifth bottle in probably a month so maybe a little over a month amazing it's just something different um starbucks has a really cool drink out it's called a now i think they'll call it like a earl gray tea latte or something like that but it tastes exactly like that drink. Seriously, pick it up. It's really, really relaxing. You'll love it. I promise you'll love it. Um, and it's different. We always want something different. We don't want the same stuff. Okay. So this is actually from um, a local store here in town that I like to go to. I haven't gone for a while. Um, it's from Wickedly Hot Vapors. Like I said, I like the weird ones, and I never can seem to come across um, some really good weird ones. But this one is, you can see my bottle is all jacked, but this is Cucumber Mint. It's amazing. It has a great um, cucumber mint mix. You can definitely taste both, but it's a sweet cucumber, so it's not like, um, like when you're getting like cucumber water or anything in your salad or any bullshit like that. I... I get them in the bigger bottles because I go through these like no other. Um, like I said, I was a menthol smoker, so I do like these many flavors, but actually all three of those were mint. <laughs> um, but they're not overpowering. I promise they're not overpowering. They're nice and cooling, um, soothing. So I know I've gone through, um, I've gone over my Shijin now that I know the name of it, but I want to go over my favorite one 
which is summer edition. And let me tell you the actual flavor profile of this one. If you haven't tried Shijin, um, you're missing out because I make everybody try this. So let's see what it says about it because it's a weird one too. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, man, come on. I got to put my date. Okay, hold on. I got to put my birth date in this. I don't know if it goes that far down. Ha ha. And yes, by the way, I've um, changed around the look of my room because some, I'll keep it PG, some brat, like made some comment about how messy my room was. I'm sorry, I'm not here to impress nobody. You can look at me right now. Um, I had a late night last night. So, but I wanted to get these done for you. And it's finally cooled off here in Texas. Thank God. Okay, here we go. Let's enter. Okay, so. So the Shijin, the actual summer edition. Beast, the Beast summer edition. Where did it go? Hmm. Yes, I get big bottles for my birthday. That is a blend of exotic fruits consisting of pomegranate, uh, lychee, and aloe vera bits. It's amazing. It's different. It's refreshing. It's just yummy. It's just yummy. All right. So, my last one. Well, my second to the last one is uh, by Blue Label. I got this in, oh, actually, I, a store, um, some friends of mine actually gave me this because they know that I like uh, minty ones. So they got it as a sample and wanted me to try it to see how I felt about it because nobody else likes mint. So this one is Breezy. And yeah, on my Instagram, Texas Vapor Babe, I did just um, take a little picture with it because I like it. Yes, I'm 21 and older. Here we go. Breezy. So it's in the green bottle. See, that's why I like it. Watermelon, cucumber, mint. It's really, really good. It, um, it's another mint one. Um, the watermelon and cucumber kind of mixed together. So if you don't know what you're vaping, like, honestly, I had to read it because I honestly didn't know what was actually in it until like right now. And I read it because they didn't tell me they just gave me green minty bottle. So that is definitely one that, um, from blue label that you will want to pick up. Sorry. These are all minty. Um, the only other one, um, the other favorite one of mine, which my bottle's in my purse, and my purse is like the endless hole, um, is by uh, Vapor Galleria. It's going to be the passion fruit. That still, I make sure that I have a bottle of that on me at all times. Um, that's just the way I do it. Usually when I do my reviews, though, I know I take a little more time because I actually just don't drip my juices. I actually put them in a tank with a new atomizer, and I smoke that whole tank. So I can try it from beginning to end because dripping it, yeah, that's great for, you know, the minute, but I want to know if it's something that I can vape all day or if it's going to sit in a tank and start tasting nappy. And I want to give you a really good review of the e-liquids because I listen to reviews. I do. Um, I listen to Assassin Vapor and a Oh, and another girl. Um, and I really listen to their, their reviews about their stuff, but I just, I don't drip it. I don't want to drip it. I don't want to sit there and drip just one or two drips and be like, oh yeah, hey, that tastes great. No, I want to be able to have the full effect of the e-liquid. So yeah, it takes me a little more time to do my reviews, but I feel like I'm a little bit more thorough on them. I'll also, I also drip it too, just to see what that flavor is like as well. But like I said, I make sure that I give you from beginning to end of that tank. So I hope you're enjoying my reviews. I promise 